here is 1959 Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. Unmarked surfaces are silver white in the centers with seen border rings of iridescent, jade, amber, and rose hues. Less than 40 examples of this Washington Quarter issue have achieved MS67 grade at PCGS. It was sold for $11,750. 1959 the rose Watam in MS68 condition with full bands. Boldly struck, flawless surfaces display George's pastel rainbow hues on the reverse. Tied for the finest, this elusive dime was sold for $5,000. This is 1970 No S Rosewood Diamond PR69 cameo condition. Amazing cameo surfaces are mainly untoned and well impressed. Experts seem to think that only about 2,200 dimes were struck without S mint mark. This was due to the fact that one die was prepared at Philadelphia and sent to San Francisco to be used. Apparently, the quantity mentioned above was released before the mistake was found and corrected, giving a collector a great error to acquire. This elusive dime ended up selling for $1980. 1959 D. Washington Quarter with multicolored toning, graded in mean state 67 plus by PCGS and proven by CEC. Exceptionally vivid multicolored toning enhances virtually pristine surfaces on both sides of this captivating superb gem. Like its identically dated Philadelphia mint counterparts, the 1959D is surprisingly scarce in the finest mint state grades. For a late date, 90% Washington quarter was mintage of 62,054,232 coins. This highly soft after gem was sold for $9,600. Number 2 here is 1971 as proof Eisenhower dollar with type 1 reverse graded as PR68 dip cameo by PCGS. This coin is an original gem housed in original package from the mint is accompanied by a special box. Boasting rolling watery mirrors and sickly frosted devices, hazy sky blue patina appears on surfaces attesting to the originality of this first year of Eisenhower dollar series. It was sold for $30,550. Here is 1941 Washington Quarter in PR68 plus condition. CEC proven super proof gem. An amazing rarity from a proof mintage of 15,287. Impeccably preserved mirrors shine with dominate silvery color as well as subtle gold, green and pale pink iridescence. Lending to its originality, fully defined as expected with astonishing eye appeal. An exciting piece for the collector. It was sold for $8,800. This is 1917 S Walking Liberty of Dollar in Mint State 65. Light gold toning highlights lovely luster and stunning details. The 1917 S of Burst Mint Mark variety is the scarcest of all 1917 combinations. To find one in gem uncirculated condition is nearly impossible. This one was sold for $15,250. This is 1916 D Mercury Dime with outstanding toning graded as MS66 FB by NGC. A star designation. A rich tone, sharply struck, an impressively lustrous gem. Example of the most important dime issues of the 20th century. A day that saw a production run of just 264,000 pieces. Both sides of this colorful gem are splashed throughout with lively rose, fiery crimson, neon blue, and deep sunset orange iridescence. The pristine surfaces are essentially mark-free, even under low magnification. It was sold for $45,237.50. And this is 1948 Franklin Hop Dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. According to NGC's enormous mintage of dollars during the war years had led to reduce production during 1946-1947, and this carried over into the new series, if not for saving of 1948p half dollars by the road, as was a custom of so many collectors and dealers at the time, this issue might have been slightly scarce. Gems are plentiful through the grade of MS65 with enough MS66 coins to satisfy more advanced collectors. The desirable designation full bell lines is available as well, but scarce in MS67 condition and higher. This specimen was sold for $12,947.62 was buyer's fee. And this is 1932D Washington Quarter in MS66 condition, magnificent example of this popular key date. 
Satiny surfaces display lovely original luster and crisply struck gem details. Coin features excellent eye appeal. Tied with just one another example at PCGS for the finest known. It was sold for $64,500. A magnificent was inside exquisite holder. 1959 Franklin half dollar in PR67 ultra cameo condition. Proof coins are specially minted coins that are struck using polished dies and planchettes. To create a coin with high level of detail and mirror-like finish. In a context of proof coins, cameo refers to the contrast between the frosted design elements on the coin and the mirror-like polished background. The design elements appear frosty and white against the reflective background, creating striking visual effect. Ultra Cameo takes this concept a step further. Coins that are designated as Ultra Cameo have an exceptionally strong and distinct contrast between the frosted design elements and the reflective fields. Brilliant devices of this gem stand out against glassy white mirrors dusted in light Cameo frost. The eye appeal is absolutely stunning. Only a handful of examples have been graded finer between both services. It was sold for $14,950. This is 1952 D. Franklin half dollar in M67 condition with full bell lines. Beautiful rainbow tones throughout. This piece is one of the prettiest toned Franklins showcased at David Lawrence. CEC approved for quality this true gem ended up selling for $17,000. In 1930, the wheat penny in MS66 plus red condition, a charming gem that sports vivid rose red luster. The smooth satin surfaces, fully struck as well and a delight to behold. The 1930 D has a respectable mintage of 15 million. 804,000 pieces and it's among the more readily obtainable Denver mint issues in early Lincoln set series. While there are enough mint state coins around to satisfy less discerning collectors, advanced Lincoln cent specialists will be disappointed by the prevalence of poorly struck pieces among the survivors. This elusive specimen was sold for $23,500. Here is 1951 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1951 S. Jefferson Nickel has one of lower mintage for circulation strike series. The 1951 S appears to be scarce in MS66 grade and higher. Less than 500 examples have been confirmed by PCGS in MS66 condition, with less than a handful known in MS67. This one with full steps ended up selling for $10,600. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on the fascinating world of numismatics.